What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Today's video is about the Power Hobby Performance Analyzer. It's a pretty cool little thing, a little gadget I just picked up. It's a little expensive, it's about 85 bucks, but the app's free. I'm not getting paid for this, I don't have any affiliate links, I just actually really like this thing. It's a pretty uh, nice little product. It's got drag mode, um, so you can get your 132 foot mark, uh, speed, acceleration, time, top speed and that. Um, it's got track mode, uh, so you can get your top speed overall. And uh, flying mode, you can get your jump height, top height. So it's pretty cool, you can see how high you jump with it. It's like, I'll give you a, a real-time field user guide, show you how it works, pressing buttons, stop, start, all that good stuff. Uh, well, first you're gonna have to purchase the thing. Then you're gonna want to download the app. I had some trouble with using my tablet. My tablet's like four or five years old, and it's kind of cheap to begin with. And I was able to download the app, and everything worked. But when it would count, it would lose range, come back and calculate. It would show that I was doing like 258 miles an hour. But I used my son's phone, and it was able to run it. After going through that, once you download the app, and you get your you get your phone. Um, connected to it you have to get your phone within range you pull up the app and the app controls the module you pull up the app and the thing will communicate with it it turns on you can tell it turns on the white light turns on and then the Bluetooth turns on and then once it communicate once it finds satellites the green light will turn on which hap would just happen so this will be mounted inside your vehicle somewhere securely double-sided tape up inside you know something like that wherever you know something that's gonna hold it from moving and if you jump you're gonna do like big massive jumps you know 50 footers 80 footers whatever your crazy shit you're doing you're gonna want to uh, really secure it you can tell it's connected because you'll see uh, the Bluetooth on obviously and you'll see these lights go on but if it's underneath the car you won't see the lights so you'll see all these and the nine here is an indication of how many seven eight or whatever it's reading how many satellites it has usually it has 12 so you'll be on this screen okay, so what you want to do is when you have it on this screen you're going to want to do drag so you hit drag and then you got to put in the feet so drag race is 132 feet scale quarter mile and then you hit ready and then it starts testing the app will automatically start recording when it starts at one mile an hour. So we'll put the camera on the ground, do the drag race, and then I'll come back and read it when it gets back in range. Car. One, two, three. Damn. All right, now that it's back in range of your phone, you'll be able to, it'll automatically reconnect to the app. And you'll be able to get a reading. And now that it's back in range, it automatically stops. And then you press read. And it gives you your acceleration and speed. So I got the 48 mile an hour in 3.25 seconds. Which I guess is pretty quick. Next, you're for a high speed, your, your top speed, you're going to want to go to track. And then for track... Um, it just goes until you press stop. So you'll press start and the testing starts when the truck starts moving. And then when you get back within range, you have to press stop again to stop the testing and then you'll be able to press read and get your top speed. So let's try that now. Back in range now. 
Okay, and now that we're back in range, you can see because it's all blue now, you press stop, you see the red dot, read, and we'll see our top speed was 55 miles an hour. We went, time elapsed, a minute and 26, we went 2,815 feet. Our average speed was 22 miles an hour. So that's not bad, 18 tooth pinion on 3S, 50C at 5,200 miles, so that's good. For flying is you press flying, and then you press start like before, and then after you're done jumping, you come back within range, press stop, and it'll give you your reading. All right, so let's see what we got on that backflip there. I think that was the highest. So we're back in range, we press stop, and then we press read, and we got 10 foot. So that's about what I, you know, I expect out here. So that's it, that's how you use this thing, pretty straightforward. I hope everybody learned something from this. Peace.